Good morning, D-Tech. I'm going to make a quick video. This is called a Systems Check Go video. We are going to do a checklist of your Uber gear. This is something the way we try to set up all our big guys. Um, same kind of setup. I'm going over it because we need to. Um, it's that time again. Now we got new guys coming in. We don't know what their gear is set up like. To be a member of DTAC, this is what we want. This is the way we've been doing it. We've statistically studied this stuff, and this is the best setup we can come up with. Now, we're going to talk about the Uber set and Rain in the same video because they go hand in hand. Um, so, let's get started. First is the Uber set, Uber helmet. There's 12 pieces to or 12 pieces to Rain and Uber set together. Obviously, your uh, set has six. Um, and obviously, you want to duplicate the amulet twice. So, here we go. The setup you want. Right there it is. Total offense, troop offense, and troop health. Those are your gems for your Uber set. Followed by your legendary offensive route. Now, this will give you the highest offensive kill put kill point set up it and that's what we usually go for um i have four different ways of setting my i use the same gear same setup even for my defense um my stronghold setup you know everything i got it's the same gear same gem same rooms the skill levels are different so skill points are different so you'll need a sword as well or it's Uber's Blade, uh, Uber Scale, Uber Boots, and the Amulet. Again, everything is set up the exact same way. Um, now, because this is my offensive POP gear, inside my hero skill tree, I stuck pretty much as tight as I could to my troop type offense total offense and onslaught offenses i do send a lot of offenses so i specialize this particular set i'm i'm in right now for that reason now i got you know a different set for defending the stronghold defending the pop whatever <coughs> but you want to get your troop type maxed out and i don't know if i've said this before but one thing i do and it's been programmed in my brain Y'all can blame Thump, you can blame whoever you want, but I always, when I'm starting with my hero, skill tree, and my hero set, I start at the bottom. I will max, I will do the bare minimum to open everything up, and thanks to a couple upgrades for playing, that's a lot easier nowadays. Um, <laughs> but I want to start, start at the bottom of my hero's skill tree. And the reason I'm saying that is right here. We've talked about this in a previous video. We're going to talk about it again. The reducers. These reducers are crucial. Got to match them out first. Then my troop offense, troop health, troop defense, total health, and so forth. But with this particular set, I started at the very bottom because I send a lot of onslaughts so number of warriors <coughs> and army onslaught offense now uh, the main skills and the secret skills aren't that much different setups here again number of warriors important for anybody sending onslaughts anybody participating in onslaughts the more troops you can send the more troops you can kill um so you know you want to do your troop type your troop type health defense and offense here um if you're sending an onslaught like this set set up for me to do you definitely want to get that army offense um in the onslaught and you want to get down now it's that hero 70 gives you so much more power and skill points that it's ridiculous just from 69 to 70 um <coughs> 68s when you start to notice it 69 is a good hero i mean you're you're getting there and 70s where it's at <laughs> obviously it's the top level right now 
So that is our Uba set. That's how I want your Uba set set up. That's how Thump's going to want your Uba set set up. That's how Kyle's going to want your Uba set set up. The rest of the elders, we all are going to want your set up the same way. Um, you know, and then from there, if you want to change some stats around or whatever, you know, you can do that. But this is the, the where the jumping off point, let's call it. This is where we want you to be at. Let's go over this again because this is so crucial, guys. Troop offense, troop health, total offense, and troop offensive room. Okay. There's the Uber set. Now let's get into rain quick. Um, here we go. You will notice that my rain, my gem sets, my rune sets are exactly the same. And one good thing about having a maxed out shaman is the skill tree is completely full anyway. Um, <laughs> but, if you use Rain, you can start using him. I think it's at level 52. Um, that'll allow you to open up both amulets. And you'll be able to set it up and get a little more powerful. Obviously, when he's at level 60, he's a lot stronger. Um, I don't want to go over his skill tree. Um, but his armor setup is the Recluse Mask. The hardened hatchet, the northern armor, the high boots, and the amber necklace. That's his pieces. Same gem set up for all that. His bonuses. Enemy troop offense, enemy troop defense, and enemy troop health. These are all decreasers. And the 5% to the number of warriors in an onslaught. Okay, I hope this helped. This is pretty much a refresher course on the gems and stuff. Um, peace out, D-Tech.